what's up gang it's your girl sif from savvy sentience and welcome to your august 2023 general readings if you are new here welcome if you are not welcome back thank you all so much for joining me please make sure that you all do the things like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not already make sure to comment and engage with the content doing so helps this channel grow and lets youtube know that you enjoy this kind of video if you all are looking for personal readings, you can book at SavvySentient.com and that is the only place you can book. I will never slide in your DMs, I will not hit you up on WhatsApp, and I will not hit you up in the comments begging for readings. If you all are interested in what I'm doing when I'm not reading tarot or speaking about spirituality, you can watch my other channel, Simply Savvy, and anything else you need to know about me will be linked in the description box below along with that second channel. So let's waste no more time and get into your reading. To get a full view of what's happening for you in August, please make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So let's get into it. All right, Aquarius. So let's get started with your channeled message. And your channeled message says, we are weary and we are ready to be done with everything signed the ancestors because first of all your ancestors are sick of you aquarius what's wrong why are you hard-headed why you can't just do what you're being guided to do so what i pulled from the astrology basically added up to you are caught up in a situation or maybe situations which feel fun they feel exciting, um, but they are situations where people are getting hurt, where uh, there, there's third party situations, y'all messing with somebody else's man slash woman slash they, them. Um, y'all are doing things that seem exciting. Perhaps there's a risk of getting caught but all of that comes from some deeply embedded trauma that needs to be resolved, that needs to be healed. You are being the quintessential, quintessential hurt person that hurts people. And you don't care because you are getting some type of uh, excitement or like power from doing these things okay so first of all if you're still here at this point in the reading congratulations on taking accountability because i know some of y'all didn't clicked off once i started telling you about yourself and that's fine stay broken but for those of you all who are ready to take accountability congratulations let's keep on going your overall energy is the mother of wands the mother of wands energy is that it girl energy, whether you are a guy or a girl, uh, no gender in tarot, but this energy is very seductive, very sultry, very life of the party, big Leo energy. Um, so when the queen is in town, everything shuts down. No, I'm playing. Um, but when the queen is around, it's like all eyes on her. And I feel like perhaps that is the energy that you are embodying when you're doing these things that you are doing, when you are entertaining the situation that you are entertaining. Um, I also got this energy that with the King of Pentacles, the person that you are dealing with is somebody like Daddy Warbucks, like you're getting money from being with this person or being around this person. There's a lot of benefit or that this person, this thing that you've had going on has been so long running, like it's so many years invested in whatever this is. And for some of you who, there may not be a third party or maybe there is, uh, but whoever this person is that you're dealing with, this person keeps you, <laughs> They started playing Mario. I stay dipped, I stay laced, and you know I know I'm fly. Like this person keeps you dipped and laced, okay? And 
they do all of this, but like they don't do what you really want them to do, which is commit to you, be with you, marry you, whatever the case is. There is no justice here with the justice card. And though the justice card is in the upright, the reason why I say there's no justice is because the next card that comes through is the eight of cups in the reverse. Okay. So this is a situation that intuitively you feel like you need to be walking away from, but for whatever reason, you're not, you are attached. You are stuck here with the eight of girl, <laughs> eight of swords at the bottom of the deck here. So, you know, you need to break away from it. And as I pull the eight of swords away, there's also the death card. So this should have been over. This is something that intuitively your ancestors have been telling you to leave it alone, break it off, step away. But you are so deeply invested in the situation. You believe that at some point it's going to be whatever it is that you wanted it to be. For others of you, you don't want it to be nothing. You just want it to continue because it makes you feel good to be doing bad things. <laughs> It makes you feel good to be involved in this situation. It makes you feel good that you're getting away with something, but you're not. <laughs> Your ancestors see everything and they're not happy with what you're doing or who you're becoming. They're not happy with you existing in this energy and they're ready to be done with you because you're hard headed. They're going to let you bust your ass a couple of times. They're going to stop saving you. They're going to stop protecting you because you don't listen. What's crossing you? What's the issue? Why can't you walk away from this? We have the two of wands. This is choices. This is deliberation. <laughs> I don't know why with this card, I get playing with fire. Like he look like he don't give a damn. Like he's ready to buck. He's down for whatever. And I feel like you're willfully making the choice towards danger. Eight of wands. This situation is not progressing. It's going in a complete opposite direction than where it needs to be going, which is the door. <laughs> it needs to be over. But instead, it's, it's persisting and it's not making the progress that you wanted to make. It's becoming a bit of a blockage for you in your life. If you're wondering why things are not working out the way that you would like them to, while, why there seems to be turbulence instead of just smooth sailing towards your manifestations and your goals, it's this situation. Knight of Swords, it's reckless. My boy is swallowing a sword. Knight of Swords energy, while it is an intellectual energy, it's fast thinking. It's not heavy deliberation like it should be. It's just rushing into action, coming up with the idea and doing it. It lacks the deliberance of the king and the queen. It lacks the experience of the king and the queen. This is teenage energy, just doing shit to be doing shit. So that's your blockage. If you're wondering why things ain't going well, it's because you're being reckless. And at this point, your ancestors are like, all right, let Aqua be reckless then. Let's just see what happens. Sipping my lemonade. Like they chilling because they've been trying to help you for a while. They over it. So what is the outcome? Big surprise, two of cups. You're gonna keep doing what you wanna do. You're gonna keep on entertaining the situation. You're gonna keep on pouring into this situation. Night, uh, King of cups. Because it makes you feel good. You're gonna keep loving on this person. You're gonna give it another try, Ace of Pentacles. You're gonna start all over. You're gonna give it a new beginning. If this person, and I know that they do, continues to disappoint you, if it's a lot of breakup and makeup, 
you're going to give them another chance and another chance and then another chance. Like, and that's going to lead you to the nine of wands energy. You're going to have to continue to fight this uphill battle. There's going to continue to be opposition and obstacles in your way. You're never going to reach the finish line with this person because I don't even think that that's their goal or objective. They taking what they can take and they happy with that. But that's not what you happy with. You want more. Six of Wands. You want victory. You want success. It's going to be a long road to get there. And you know what I feel? Ace of Cups. If you, if you do eventually get to where you're trying to go with this person, it's going to be because the other options failed. Because their wife left them. Because their, uh, I don't know, kidneys are failing. And you're the only person who gives a fuck about them in the world. So they decide to finally marry you. It's not because they're actively choosing you. You are the option. An option. Probably not their top option. You're just one of many. <sighs> but I digress and digest. Let's move on to your oracle. So your oracle... Aquarius is memory. Memory is the capacity to conserve and recall information, emotions, and events by searching within our minds. It forms one of the bases of human knowledge and is fed by the sensory impressions left on us by what surrounds us and will form the next material world of actions. Memory is also the function that allows us to recall our ancestors, the people who have loved us, that have left us, just like our past experiences. The advice from the dead is take advantage of the reserve of culture and experience that people that came before us have accumulated. And this is why I think your ancestors are pissed because what you're doing ain't new. <laughs> You have had ancestors who have experienced this that have probably been on both sides of the coin and they know how it turns out and they've been trying to guide you away from having that same outcome. But you like, nah, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna ignore my intuition, even though that's your ancestors talking directly to you. They're trying to protect you from the inevitable car wreck that this situation is going to become. And at this point, they're like, fine. Aqua don't want to put on that safety belt. Aqua don't want to stop speeding. Aqua want to keep being reckless even though we told them that this person ain't it, this situation ain't it, this behavior ain't it, this action ain't it, this place that they keep on going to ain't it then we'll take our hands off of them and let them figure it out. They've been trying to protect you. So what is the advice? Hmm, the moon. What is the moon? Intuition, what's beneath the surface, the occult, your fears, your hopes. Judgment, girl, boy, friend, they, them. Trust your intuition and make the correct judgment call when it comes to this situation. The moon and judgment, two major arcanas are your advice. And the daughter of cups. Again, a card for me of intuition. Listening to that little voice, old Jiminy Cricket telling you to do what you need to do. But will you listen to your conscience? Will you listen to your intuition? Will you trust it? Will you make the judgment that they're asking you to make? Seven of Wands standing in your power. Some of y'all may be very weak for this person. And y'all know that they think that. This is not the time to just succumb to that. Stand up, stand in your power and say, no, we can't keep doing this. This is not right. 
even though you accept it, even if you're okay with cheating on your wife, even if you're okay with stealing from your job to buy me Birkins or whatever weird shit this person is doing or that you're doing in tandem with them, it's time for you to stop and stand up and say, nah, we can't continue. Okay? All right, let's get your postcard for spirit. I'm irritated with your ancestors at this point. All right, so your postcard from spirit says, dear is you. Do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We're here to tell you that we are always whispering in your ear about your highest goods. Ancestors, whisper, to stop whispering. Yell at Aquarius about their highest good because they're not hearing you. They are always whispering in your ear about your highest good. They are the conduits for spirit, letting you know that you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, that means you heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are here on earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so love. Inspiration. Your ancestors whispering in your ear, telling you this ain't right. This ain't what you've been meant to be doing. You're supposed to be doing X, Y, Z. You out here playing with these uh, randos. You are being distracted by the fuck shit. Get back on track. And you're not hearing them. You're ignoring them. It's time to start listening. Aquarius, it's time to start listening. Period. Let your people lead you to a better life, a better way of doing things. Because you are creating blockages in your life unnecessarily. And five, 10, 20 years from now, you're gonna be looking back wondering where you got stuck, where you got caught up at. And you're gonna remember this time, these moments, when you knew you shouldn't, but you was doing it anyway. You're gonna feel like you wasted a lot of time. All right, so anyway, that is your message. <laughs> if this resonates for you, let me know in the comments below. Or not, you might be shamed. Mm -hmm. But if you're not, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I'll talk back. <laughs> um, please make sure that you all like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. And of course, until the next time I read for you all, I wish you all love and light. Now go get right. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.